Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a shop my stash video. So basically we're gonna go through my makeup together and we're gonna pick products for today's video. I have a couple new things and I have a couple things that I just love that I wanna use in today's video and then I have some other things that I haven't used in a little bit that have just been sitting in my collection and I wanted to use up for today. So that essentially is what a shop my stash video is. We kind of go through the products together and you guys can see what I have in my collection and things that I wanna use up that I haven't in a little bit. I love this idea. I love the idea of going through the makeup and kind of just using up what we have already. It feels less wasteful and it feels good to just like go through your products already because sometimes you find hidden gems, which is always fun. I have a good mix of drugstore and high end, which you guys will see in the video. I tried to kind of balance it out, but that is what we're doing. Let me know if you guys want more Shop My Stash videos. I have been loving these. I really like, like I said, just the idea of using what we already have. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to start with the makeup stash part first and then we will get into the makeup. So let's get started started. Okay, let's start off with eyeshadow palettes. So I'm not sure today if I want to do a drugstore or a high-end palette. These are some of my high-end palettes and then I have a couple random ColourPop ones in here that I really love, like So Jaded. This is one of my favorites from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. Then I have a couple other ones here that are really pretty. But I think today I want to use a drugstore palette. So let's see. I have a couple new ones here from Pacifica, which look really gorgeous. Like this one looks really pretty. The Magical Eyeshadow Palette. This looks like it could be like a high-end palette. I really like that teal color up there at the top. That looks really pretty. So that could be an option. And then I also have this one from Koki Cosmetics, the Arabian Nights Eyeshadow Palette. Ooh, I love the elephant on the front. It's like really cute packaging. Ooh, this is a pretty option too. Which one should I use? Between the Pacifica and the Koki Cosmetics one. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the Koki Cosmetics one because I haven't used their eyeshadows in quite some time. So I'm going to dive into this today. Okay, now we have to pick lashes. I'm kind of going in the order in which I do my makeup. So I'm going to do eyes first and then we'll get into the face products. So I don't really know exactly the type of look I'm going to do, but I always love some good dramatic lashes. Maybe I'll go with Flutter and Love. This is one of my favorite lash brands. These are really, really good. They're so pretty. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use these. I haven't used these in a little bit. I think these are in the style. Okay, these are different. These are in the style Ange, which are really pretty. I don't think I've tried these before, actually. Winter Rose is one of my favorite styles from them. So pretty. They're like really fluffy and long, but very wispy. Today, I'm going to do Ange just because I haven't used these and they look beautiful so i'm gonna use these today so this little storage piece is right next to my makeup table where i film and i usually keep new products or things that i want to test out for upcoming videos so i actually have quite a few new primers here so let's see we have a couple options we have laura mercier laroc and then first aid beauty i think i want to do laroc because this glass skin primer is kind of calling my name so let's do that because anything that says glass skin i'm here for it so we're gonna test that out and then surprise surprise i got this in pr the laura mercier translucent powder i've never tried this i know this is like so popular or at least it used to be like years ago and i've never used it i used her secret brightening powder it, this is a lot of youtubers favorite powder so let's see what all the hype is about i'm gonna finally use it today i also have this new milani rosewater prep and refresh hydrating mist let's use this today as like a little primer water and then I'm also going to use this to set my makeup afterwards. Okay for foundation today I think I want to use a high-end one because it's been a little bit since I've used any of these foundations to be honest that I have here. I've been using a lot of drugstore foundations lately so we got to show some of these some love. So I have a pretty good mix here. I have Fenty Hourglass which I feel like these colors are a little bit too dark for me. So I have Too Faced Born this way, Fenty here, which I haven't used that in a while. Oh, but you know what? I haven't used this in a really long time too, the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. Maybe we should use this today. I have a couple shades here, Light Medium 2.35. I think this will be a good shade for me. So let's use this today. Okay, let's get into concealer now. So my concealers actually, I go through these very often. I don't really have a lot of concealers in here that I forgot about, to be honest with you, but Let's see if we can find anything. I think for concealer today, I want to do a drugstore concealer because we have a high-end foundation, high-end powder, high-end primer. Oh, yeah, we need a drugstore concealer. Okay, so let's see. These are contour shades. You know what? Let's just keep it simple, and let's do some e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I really like this. I only used it a couple times, but 
let's use this one and i have this one in the shade medium peach okay now we have bronzer i honestly don't have a ton of bronzers i go through these also pretty frequently because i kind of know what i like and what works for me i'm currently really loving the new fenty cream bronzers actually i think these are really good so maybe we should just use these today because i really like them and this one in the shade 03 macchiato is like a really good shade for me so maybe we should just use this yeah let's just let's just use that and then i'm going to use the shade shady biz which is another favorite product of mine from fenty just to set the cream and i also really like the thrive cosmetic sun chaser bronzer in the shade raya i was going to use that today but let's just do some fenty today because this is a good combo okay and then blush i already know what i'm going to use today i have really been enjoying this blush from ColourPop. it's the meteorite collection that they have this is like exclusive to ulta but they also have it on their website as well but this is a really pretty like mauve tone blush and i just dug my nail into it but it's gorgeous i really like this color it looks really muted and boring in the pan but i promise on the skin it's stunning so i'm going to use this today okay for highlight we have quite a few options we have a lot of intense highlights i have a lot of intense highlights in here and i don't really like a super intense glow anymore so i'm gonna try to find something that is a little bit more on like the natural ish side let's just you know what let's keep it simple let's go back to one of my favorites essence pure nude highlighter if you don't like a lot of glow you will love this this is the perfect your skin but better glowing kind of highlighter it is beautiful it doesn't accentuate a lot of texture and this one is in the shade be my highlight number 10 i love it so let's use that today so i know i have a translucent powder from laura mercier but i'm gonna use that just for like my under eye area but i want like a pressed powder to set the rest of my face so i think i'm gonna do this one from charlotte tilbury the airbrush flawless finish powder this one i have in the shade number one i originally got number two a few months back but it's a little too dark for me so I only used it I think like twice and afterwards I felt like it made my skin kind of look a little bit orangey So I picked up the shade number one and I think this is going to be hopefully better And last but not least we're going to do some lips Of course I want to do a nude lip So I have these new satin cream lipsticks from elf which look really good I'm going to use a nude color today because this looks gorgeous And then I'm going to top this off with the new ColourPop Luxe glosses which look really really pretty and this one is in the shade overnight and then i have another one over here which is in come through let's grab both of them and see what they're going to look like i think this is going to be a good combo and then here are all of my lip liners and my liners and of course we're going to do nude today there's this new one from milani that i tried out recently that i love it is so creamy is it this one no let's find it because it's so good Oh, I think it's this one. Yes, this one from Milani. They're understatement lip liners. You guys, these are incredible. It's a retractable lip pencil, but it glides on the lips. And this one in the shade 160 is perfect. So I'm going to use this today. Okay, makeup table is ready to go. I have all of my products laid out and all of my brushes. I have a pretty good mix today. I have drugstore, high end. I have a couple new things, and then I have a couple classic things that I've already had in my collection. So let's get into the makeup. Okay, so I did my brows and I primed my lids and everything just because there's not really anything too interesting there in those categories. So we're gonna jump straight into eyeshadows. I just swatched a couple of the shades because I was really curious about this palette, but this is the Arabian Nights palette from Koki. I love their packaging. It's always super cute with like the little elephants. And then you open it up and this is what the colors look like. Really gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna start off with this shade right here and I'm gonna apply that in my crease. really pigmented wow got a little fallout but that's why we do the eyes first and this is my favorite brush i use it in like every single video i'm sorry if you can hear that someone is like it sounds like they're sawing like a tree or something and they've been at it since like 7 a.m it's like nine o'clock right now i just i don't even know hopefully you can't hear it but you know the show must go on it's looking a little splotchy right in here i don't know if you can see that i'm gonna use a smaller brush to get in there and concentrate the product maybe a little bit better mm, 
we'll see. Hopefully maybe the shimmer will help to make everything look a little bit more seamless, but let's do the other eye, of course. It's not blending out super nicely. Like you definitely have to work with it a little bit. Definitely doable, but it's not like a super easy formula. I feel like the other eyeshadows were a little bit easier to work with from what I can remember. Well, let's do some warm tones in here. Maybe that'll help. I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is fiery, and I'm gonna apply that on the outer crease. Let's do a little bit of Rebel also in the crease. This has a little bit of red undertones, but it's also more of a brown. See, when you actually dip your brush in, you get lots of pigment. And you get the pigment on your lids as well, but you just really have to like work with it. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. We're definitely gonna do a shimmer on the lid though, because that always like just makes everything better. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Passion right here, and I'm gonna use a clean blending brush. This one's from Profusion. And I'm just gonna run that right in the crease a little bit, because I wanna bring out a little bit more warmth in there. I still see a little splotchiness. I don't know if you can really see that there. So we definitely need a shimmer on the lid. Even here, it's a little splotchy, but dang, this palette is really cute too. Okay, we can work with this, okay? We're just, we're just playing, it's fine. I'm gonna take some of this shade right here, which looks really beautiful, sand. I'm gonna use my ABH number 18 brush. So I'm gonna dip and then I'm gonna spray because I feel like with this palette, it's gonna be necessary. Actually, let me test it out since it's a new palette with no spray so we can see how the color looks. So it definitely shows up, wow. It shows up a lot better than what I thought. It's a little chalky though. I feel like with a spray, the color kind of glides on a little bit better too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna use that Milani spray, which I love Milani spray. So I feel like this is gonna be good. Mmm, it smells like roses. Oh, that smells good. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the crease color and kind of blend out the edges of that shade just to make everything look a little bit more seamless. I wanna make this a little bit more bronzy, so I'm gonna take the golden shade here. Right over top. That color is a little too icy. Oh, that's perfect. That's what I want right there. So I just wanna tone down the white a little bit and just make it a little bit more like bronze. Oh yes, this is perfect. I'm using a different brush to do that. I like that a lot actually. Made it a little bit more neutral and it toned it down a little bit. That's good. See the shimmer always just pulls everything together. Let's take a little bit of the shade here which is called Wish. It's like a really beautiful, okay they're all orangey, they're all beautiful. <laughs> it's like a beautiful matte orange. I'm gonna run that also in the crease. I just don't want to lose that warmth. course, we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. Let's do some wings. I'm going to use the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which is one of my favorites at the drugstore. It is a really easy formula and it's super black. Easy formula, easy formula to work with. <laughs> Yes, NYX, I love this liner, so good. 10 out of 10 recommend, this is amazing. I'm gonna trim my lashes and I'm gonna pop them on and then we will move on to the face. The lashes are really beautiful. They're just a little too long and big for my eyes as you can see. We gotta do a little trim, just a little bit. So I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on. They are definitely on the dramatic side as you can see. They are very, very long. 
they like almost touch my eyebrows a little bit so not for everybody but they do have different styles on their website so definitely check them out i like them i think for this look it's definitely a look because the eyeshadow is so neutral and simple but now we can do the skin which i'm really excited for so i have the milani rose water prep and refresh hydrating mist love the smell of roses and i love milani setting sprays their make it last is like my absolute favorite so oh that smells really good wow it smells just like roses so if that's not your cup of tea you will not like this because it's definitely a little overpowering. So then for primer, I'm gonna use the Lorac Pro Skin Glass Skin Primer. Ooh, packaging is really luxurious. I like it. It's like a glass, but it's like all frosted and white and beautiful. So it comes with a dropper, which typically I don't love, but oh, okay, this dropper's actually nice. Some of the droppers I feel like get stuck, but this one feels nice. Oh wow, this feels really soft. I'm gonna just put this all over. Kind of feels like a light oil a little bit. So this says it nourishes and visibly refines the skin and it has a soft water texture and it's refreshing and feather-like. I agree, the texture is very, very lightweight. I think that primer is gonna be good for today's foundation because this is a little bit thicker. So this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And today I'm gonna go in with the shade Light Medium, which is 2.35. That's all I'm gonna do for now and I think even that's a lot. And I'm gonna use my Haley's Beauty beauty sponge which I love and I'm just gonna pounce this into the skin I used too much this is my favorite part of makeup just watching my skin transform Wow that looks yellow Okay, yeah, so less is more. Don't use that much, you don't need it. Glide it on really nicely over top of the primer. So I think the primer was definitely necessary with this foundation today. It like worked out really nicely. Next for concealer, we have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Medium Peach. Oh, it's so creamy. I'm gonna do about that much and then I'm gonna balance it out on the rest of my face. That really melted into the skin. I'm gonna use a little concealer brush right in the inner corners. This one specifically I got from an Amazon brush kit, but the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, you guys know is my jam, so that's a good option as well. I also like to kind of blend around the nose. It can get a little cakey here, so I like to just kind of blend that out. Wow, this concealer is really, really good. I don't remember what my thoughts on it were when I first tested it out, but I really like the way that it looks today. It's super creamy, like blends in really nicely and I think the coverage is great. Okay, I'm loving the way things are turning out. At first I was a little, a little skeptical with the eyeshadow, but we pulled through and we got it. We got it done and we made it work. So for powder today, finally, I'm like the last person on earth and in the YouTube beauty community to use this, but better late than never. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I'm curious to know if any of you guys have not tried this powder, let me know down below. I'm also gonna put this on my T-zone around my mouth. Oh my gosh, have you guys ever watched White Chicks? That reminds me of this. When she was like, give me a pat and then he literally put all this powder on her face and she went to go talk to that guy with the powder on her face. You guys know what I'm talking about if you watch White Chicks. I love that movie, it's one of my favorites. So funny, me and Hector can watch that like over and over again, but that's so funny, that just reminded me of it. Okay, this is looking really, really good, actually. I just realized I forgot to use my cream bronzer from Fenty. I mean, technically I can still use it because I didn't set my entire face, so let's, let's just do it. So I'm gonna go in with their cream bronzer in the shade Macchiato love this color on me and I'm actually gonna use their face brush, which I really like with this product. I should have did this first, but like I said, I forgot. It's fine. Holy cow, that <laughs> Smashbox foundation is so matte. Like it's crazy. It already looks like I set my entire face. See, it's a nice color. I'm not gonna do too much because I am gonna go over top with some bronzer anyway but I like this a lot. I like to kind of place it down, kind of stamp it into place. And then when I go in with the bronzer, I feel like it just looks really, really seamless. So 
The bronzer in the shade Shady Biz, you guys already know if you watch my videos, like this is the best bronzer of life. So good. I'm just gonna use this. This is a little bit more warm than the cream bronzer. The cream bronzer has a little bit of a cool undertone, but I like mixing the two. Okay, now let's clean up this little area here and I have some more translucent powder. Let me take these off. These are super annoying, these little earrings. Okay, this powder is really nice. Wow. So that's what I was missing out on. <laughs> Kind of blending that out. For blush, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Meteor Right Pressed Powder Blush. It looks really beautiful. This is a perfect everyday blush. This is a little misleading though, because on the Ulta website, the color is definitely more, I feel like, orangey and warm than what it actually is in person. Because when I saw it in person, I was like, oh, this is a lot more mauve tone than what I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, this is the shade itself. It's not a very warm shade. It's more mauve and neutral. I'm gonna take that on a little stippling brush. Gotta hit the nose a little bit. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, the best natural highlighter, and it's like $5. Just a touch of it. All right, it looks like I just ate a powdered donut. So it's time to do the lips. So for my lip liner, these Milani lip liners, you guys, these are so good. And Milani lip products are so bomb. And I think they're all like $5 and under. They're definitely not more than $10. They're amazing. But this one in the shade 160, so beautiful. Love this. And then I'm gonna top that off with the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick. I really like this packaging. It's really cool. It's like a clear kind of packaging. Look at that nude. Ooh. Very uh, nude. Definitely a good uh, center shade. And then we got the gloss to top it off. So these are the ColourPop Luxe Glosses. So mm, they smell so good. They're like a little fruity, but a little sweet. Ooh, I really like this chubby little applicator. So I think I'm gonna use the shade Overnight. Yeah. Last but not least, we have to finish up the lower lashes, of course. So I'm gonna go back into the Arabian Nights palette and I'm gonna start off with this color right here, which is Emerald. And then eventually I will go in with this one over here, which is more of a shimmer. So I really wanna start by pressing that color down on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna use a flat definer brush. This one's from Sigma. And I'm just gonna kinda of stamp that shade in that area, just like that. And then we'll go in and blend it out. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but let's go with it. And then I'm gonna use a tinier brush just to really smudge everything out. Mm, I don't know if I'm loving this little pop of color, to be honest. I don't like the way that it looks. I wanted more of like a kind of brighter blue, so I'm not feeling this. What do I do? Do I add this blue or did I just add the crease shades and just call it a day? I think I'm gonna just add the crease shades in here because this is not really the kind of look that I wanted or that I was going for. So I'm gonna take this color right here, which is a uh, fiery. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over that and this is gonna counteract with the green and it's gonna make like a brown, which is what we want now. Mm, yeah, the color, it wasn't really like the vision that I had for it. It was also a little powdery, just not really my vibe. So we're gonna just kind of go over it. Then this is my favorite liner. You guys know that if you have any other like favorite colorful waterline liners, let me know. But I always use the ColourPop BFF cream gel liners. When it comes to colorful liners, I think ColourPop is just the best. They have so many colors and you guys know I use these in like every other video because they're just that good. Just adds a nice little pop on the waterline. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go in with mascara and I'm gonna use the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara and I'm just gonna coat my lower lashes with this. 
I've been loving this mascara lately. Also, I just realized my face was so matte that I didn't even feel the need to set like what I wanted to set. But I do wanna use this powder today, the Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder. So I'm gonna use a really like pr small, precise brush to really concentrate that powder like around my pores to make it look really soft and airbrushed. Wow, this really is like an airbrush powder. It's crazy. It looks so good. So we got a lot of matte going on, so I'm gonna use the same rose water spray from Milani. It says that you can use it to like refresh your makeup, which I feel like I need. So I'm gonna use some of this and finish off this look. Okay, so this is the completed look. We got some neutral glam going on. I know this is another like simple look. I tried to do the pop of color, but I just wasn't feeling it. So I didn't want the look to be like a disaster. So I just, I kept it neutral. I really love this look though. I love everything that I used also, except the eyeshadow palette, to be honest. This is the only thing that for me was a dud. It's not that it was a bad palette, because you can see like it was doable and I really like the way this turned out. It's just the formula itself wasn't really super impressive. I don't know, I can definitely Live without it I've tried worse I've tried better but I'm just not in love with this palette however everything else that I used I really like I feel like everything kind of just meshed really well together the primer with the foundation the concealer combo the powders were really nice together the Smashbox foundation is not something I can see myself using on a daily it's super full coverage it's very matte so maybe in the summertime or for like a date night it could be a good foundation but it is really nice nonetheless and I think if you have oily skin you will love this foundation because it's intense, it's matte, and it's very full coverage, and you don't need a lot. So even what I use today on my face, it's too much, you don't need that much. But do as I say, not as I do. The concealer is so good, I'm definitely gonna keep using this. This is really great coverage, super creamy, easy to work with, melts into the skin. It's a little bit more creamy than the original. The original is definitely more of like a soft matte finish. This one is definitely more of like a natural finish under the eyes, which I really like. And then I love the Fenty Cream Bronzer, of course, with the powder bronzer. I think both of these go hand in hand. And then the powders, you guys, I, I'm shocked. So the Charlotte Tilbury powder I used before, but I really like this color number one fair on me and my skin tone. It looks so, I'm trying to get this open. It looks so smooth. And then the Laura Mercier powder, I can't believe it took me so long to experiment with this, but this is so smooth and flawless. Here is a photo with flash that I just took in the other room with the blinds closed on my iPhone and it definitely passed the iPhone test. I think it looks really beautiful and I'm shocked. So. Really love everything. Yeah, the glosses were great. The rose water spray was really nice. The scent is a little strong, so if you're really sensitive to scents, I don't think you'll like this. I would stick to like the NYX primer spray. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I encourage you guys to go through your products and use up things that you love that you have in your collection already. I feel like makeup launches have really like slowed down a little bit, which makes me really happy because then I feel like we can enjoy what we have in our collections without feeling the pressure of like lots of new products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.